My name is Heidi Snyder. I'm the principal violist for the Arapaho Philharmonic. This is my ninth season with the Arapaho Phil. I actually started playing violin in fourth grade in elementary school because my best friend was in the orchestra and she wanted me to join with her. And I found that I loved it. And I wanted to take private lessons and be in youth orchestras. And as I went through middle school and high school, it just became my passion. So my high school private teacher suggested I learn viola. Just to kind of go into college, be a little more versatile. And when I was in college working on my music degree, I started playing viola in string quartets and orchestras and in the pit orchestra. I just found that I loved the viola more. Um, it's, it became all I wanted to play. I didn't want to go back to the violin. <laughs> I think I felt like it had been my instrument the whole time and I found it a little later in life. Um, so I'm really glad I did. So all musical instruments create sound by causing some sort of vibration. The way stringed instruments work is the strings vibrate which makes the sound which is amplified by our instruments and the bow is what we use to cause the strings to vibrate. So this part of the bow that looks like hair is made from the tail hairs of horses that are very well taken care of pampered horses. <laughs> and then the stick part is a very flexible lightweight wood. So when I draw the bow across my string, the hairs grip the string and make it vibrate. So what I'm going to do is play down in a lower string, and if you watch the string around here, you'll see it vibrate. It'll get big and fat and blurry, even though my bow is playing up here. So that's the vibration that we hear now. As I'm doing this with my bow, if I use my fingers on the strings, it'll technically change the length of the string, which changes the pitch. So as I put fingers down on the same string, it's still vibrating, but your ear hears a different pitch. I can play two strings at once. And one thing I love about the viola is it's bigger than a violin. So even though I hold it the same way as a violin, it also plays lower sounds than a violin does. The viola serves two functions in the orchestra. And one thing we do that's really cool is a lot of times we accompany other sections that are playing the melody and the main tune. And we can play some really fantastic accompaniment kind of things like that you might not listen for, but you'll hear it. Something like that. Well, maybe a flute is playing something beautiful and, and we're kind of riding along underneath it like, like running water or something. But there are also times when composers give us um, something that, that we get to sing. And the very best composers for viola write in that middle lower range that we love so much. Um, so we get to play something like this. That's kind of a glorious thing when we get to play something like that. And then, I mean, People like Beethoven give us a chance to dance, and this is another um, wonderful thing we get to do sometimes while everybody else sits around and listens to us for once. <laughs> Being a musician um, connects you to the, it connects me to the people that I share the stage with. Every time I work on a symphony that I may have played before with different groups, every time I hear it, I remember the friends that I played it with. I'll hear it on the radio and remember um, a certain conductor or a certain stand partner I had and, and how much fun we had in rehearsals. Our connections to the audience are absolutely magical. I love um, meeting people in the audience before and after concerts who are there because they love a piece of music or 
a family member dragged him to a classical music concert for the first time. <laughs> you know, you never know who you're going to meet. And I work with school kids throughout the week, and I love how music connects me with them. You know, it, it brings us joy. It's, um, I don't know, it, it's wonderful. So I, I keep practicing. I keep working on the, sometimes the same pieces, sometimes new challenging pieces, sometimes things that are so difficult that I will pull my hair out and think I'm never ever going to get it and I keep doing it because I know I'm going to get to see my friends week in and week out and, and, and play and just keep meeting more people.